How's it going everyone? Alan with IC Suspension here. Recently this week we've gotten a lot of questions about how to properly set up your dampening. So this week uh, in our video today I'm going to take you through exactly what dampening or damping is and then also show you how to set it up on our ISC coilovers. So what is damping? Damping or dampening is the control of motion or oscillation as seen with the use of hydraulic gates and valves in a vehicle shop absorber. This may also vary intentionally or unintentionally. Like spring rate, the optimal damping for comfort may be less than for control. Damping controls the travel, speed, and resistance of the vehicle's suspension. An undamped car will oscillate up and down. With proper damping levels, the car will settle back to, nor to a normal state in a minimal amount of time. Most damping in modern vehicles can be controlled by increasing or decreasing the resistance to fluid flow in the shock absorber. So essentially what our hard and soft settings on our ISC coilovers do is just that what that last sentence was. They either increase or decrease the resistance to fluid flow in the shock absorber. So essentially that is what you are controlling when you're adjusting your damping either harder or softer. You're either increasing or decreasing the resistance to fluid flow. Hey guys, just to give you a short little walkthrough of how to adjust damping on your coilover itself. Um, what I'm doing right now is just taking the components off of the actual coilover just to show you what each component does and give you a little brief walkthrough on them. Uh, this is your adjustment Allen key itself. As you can see, once you put it in the coilover, you'll feel that you can move it freely from left to right, hard to soft. That's when your adjustment clicker comes in, this next piece right here. This is what actually gives you the audible click when you're adjusting your damping. You'll notice once you slide it back in there, now you have audible adjustment. Sometimes these can seize up and that can sometimes cause you to not have audible clicking. Once again, as you can see here, this, this adjustment clicker is what makes that audible noise. Sometimes you may also notice that it may actually get stuck a little bit. You might not feel an audible click, but then if you look at it, you can actually push it in all the way and engage it completely. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at support at iscsuspension-na.com or give us a call at 603-715-9078.